everyone in this video I'm going to show you how to replace this old um, shower head with a brand new one uh, this shower head has served me well for about six years and right now it's leaking constantly everything is tight but it's leaking actually from the head itself and it's constantly leaking here everything is tight uh, checked it multiple times it's not a big drip but it, it drips about once every five seconds enough to drive me nuts um, anyway so we're gonna replace it with a, a new one this is the shower head the new shower head that I'm going to replace with so this is a Moen magnetics um, and it's pretty cool because uh, it has two heads uh, the smaller head here actually detaches and you can reattach it back uh, magnetically um, yeah it's pretty cool so I'm gonna open the uh, package and go through all the components and do a replacement I'm gonna show you what's inside the uh, the packaging um, so first we have the main head and I'm not sure uh, this feels very plasticky um, I don't think this is made of metal I think this is made of plastic and let me see yeah definitely not metal these are plastic parts well I'm not sure this is gonna work really good but yeah this is more like polycarbonate plastic I think and then uh, we have this uh, secondary head um, it also feels like plastic yeah and then we have this six foot I mean sorry five foot hose um, this is definitely made of rubbery material plastic same on each side uh, pretty cheap material actually um, but um, I think this this uh, shower head does have lifetime warranty um, this is the uh, insulation manual insulation guide and the box that it came with um, yeah so pretty surprising actually I, I didn't expect it to be plastic I thought it was gonna be like some kind of aluminum or bronze material but anyways um, so that's the uh, all the parts that comes with it um, according to the installation manual uh, first thing that you do is uh, remove the old shower head remove existing putty or whatever junk um, that you have on the uh, threads and then the, uh, simply loosen the nut and um, just screw in the uh, the shower head so let's uh, first remove what we have there okay so this is the uh, old um, shower head attachment and um, it has a, a thumb screw so I don't need any tool on this one unless I can't really remove it so all I have to do is uh, just fold it and twist it. Make sure, by the way, um, that the valve is obviously off, otherwise you're gonna get water spraying all over your face. Um, but, so once you get that removed, this part right here is gonna get stopped by this ball here. Um, and this part right here is completely off. This is also made of plastic. Okay. So this part right here, you need to have a, actually you don't, it's, it's actually not tight at all. So you can actually just remove it with the, your hand. But if it's too tight, there's actually two flat side here that you can put a pipe wrench um, and you can actually remove it that way. Okay. All right, so with that removed, all we have to do next is clean up this 
Teflon tape here, um, all this gunk and stuff. Remove all of this old stuff. Um, not sure why this is yellow. This is yellow is supposed to be for gas. But anyway, remove all this stuff, and then we're gonna put on a, a new one. Uh, make sure it's dry. Put a new coat of Teflon, and uh, we're gonna put the new ball, etc. Okay, looks like we have a leaky uh, faucet. Um, so it's, it's dripping at about once every two seconds. And as you can see, this is the uh, valve for this shower head right there. And that's completely shut off. So this is maximum turn uh, to be off. And uh, we are seeing drips, drips there. Okay, so I'm still gonna install my shower head, but um, that means that there is a valve that is bad over there, over there. This, this valve that is inside, uh, there's a valve that needs to be replaced. And uh, this, that's also a Moen faucet, I believe. It comes with, comes with lifetime warranty. And you just need to call Moen, give them the, uh, the right part number, etc., and they should uh, probably send a new one um, or the parts inside to replace this. All right, so there's nothing I can do to get this one completely dry, but you actually can get this job done without it being 100% dry because there's no glue involved. Um, all right, so I'm gonna get my new Teflon tape and start working. Okay, so applying Teflon tape is pretty easy. All you have to do is just get it started and go around. It's a little bit harder with the water dripping, but I usually just put about two layer of it don't put too too much Teflon because it's gonna get really hard for you to um, to thread on the um, the new pipe later on. All right, that's it. That's the new Teflon, and I'm gonna get the new head and start putting it on. Okay, so I'm going to attach this uh, what they call the ball set first. Um, Ball part, and then there's a nylon part that stops it underneath it, and then the whole thing goes into this um, kind of like a wing nut set. And this part is supposed to screw in there, and this part right here later on is going to screw into the uh, shower head. And as you can see here, there's a flat side here, uh, there, and there. So I'm going to hand tighten it. And at some point where I can't tighten it anymore, I'm gonna do probably about a half a turn using a pot wrench that would just tighten this um, a little bit further. Okay, so all you have to do is just put it there, make sure it's seated well, and just start turning clockwise. Like that. And it's gonna stay by itself, not gonna fall anymore. And once it's pretty tight by hand, okay, and I'm going to take a pipe wrench and do about half a turn there. Good. So I have an adjustable wrench and uh, just uh, adjusting it to the exact width of that flat notch. And uh, once I have it, I'm just going to turn it about halfway. You don't want it to be too tight, but you just want it to, whoops, I ran out of room here. Let me let it go and then continue it on this side. Make sure it doesn't slip so that you don't make a mark or a scratch on your uh, brand new Power head. Okay, there you go. And okay, that's not on there well. Okay. 
Okay, stop the video. Okay, so I readjusted my wrench and I'm doing another about quarter turn and I got it pretty tight there, so I'm gonna let it go. And that's it. All right, so we're just going to attach the uh, this part next. Before we uh, attach the head um, to the uh, shower, uh, it's easier for us to go ahead and uh, attach this one first uh, to that so we don't have to screw around with it uh, up there. Uh, keep in mind that when you're attaching this, this rubber, there's a rubber uh, washer here. You have to push that down all the way in uh, before you screw it in. I mean, eventually it will get pushed in anyway, but I like to get it uh, seated properly uh, there. So you don't need any Teflon tape on this one. Um, and because of that rubber gasket, it's just hand tightened. Uh, keep in mind that this is made of plastic, so you know you don't want to be using tools and too much force. Uh, you're probably gonna break it. Okay, so just hand tighten like that. That should be good enough. So that's the reason why I want to do it here instead of up there. Okay, so now this is ready. Okay, so we're gonna attach this part here. This is the magnetic part facing me or facing down. And this part right here just goes towards the ball. And uh, just make sure that you are right against the ball and put this down. And you're turning it clockwise on the other direction. So it's gonna be this way. Okay, so just keep turning. Make sure you get a feel to make sure that the thread is correct. If you don't feel that the thread is correct, back out and re reseat it again before you tighten it. Okay, so I'm just holding this here. Um, make sure it's uh, straight and then while I'm pushing the thumb screw or the wing nut, whatever, until it's tight. Again, no tools required because these are all made of plastic. So just get a good feel, don't over tighten but just make sure it doesn't leak there you go that should be enough okay so at an appropriate uh, tightness this the ball actually serve as a friction so it, it actually allows you to adjust the um, uh, the angle of the shower head uh, if it ever gets loose obviously just come over here and tighten it up some more because the ball is against a another rubber gasket that is uh, uh, preventing it to, from leaking. And uh, okay, so once that's done, uh, all you have to do is just attach this. Again, push the rubber washer in before you start the, screwing that in. And then we'll be done. Okay, so this is the last piece. This is super easy. Obviously, you just screw this in and make sure it's all the way in and tight. No tools required, same concept. There's a rubber washer in there. So just make sure it's nice and tight and we are good to go. There you go, whoops. There, yeah, this is a cheap uh, rubber hose. All right, so that works and I'm gonna get out of the way and test it. Um, by the way, this thing is uh, $100 from Home Depot. It's called the Moen Attract Magnetic Series. And uh, we'll see if it works. So far, I'm not too impressed because it's made of plastic. But uh, for $100, I guess uh, it's what it is. All right, so we're gonna turn it on. Whoops, wrong one, sorry. Okay, so this is the first mode. When this switch here is all the way to the top, only one head, which is the big head, is on. And uh, you can adjust this. Uh, it's not very low, but this is the maximum it will go down. Uh, I guess that's enough. It's not like a rain shower or anything. Um, and then the, if you put this down one click it's going to have both the small and the large 
And the small one, you can adjust a uh, different type of spray. There is this smaller spray, slightly larger, small and large with some kind of pulsating. And you can pulse. And actually, let me put it to the third level here. I mean, to the, to the all the way down, which is just the small spray, so that we can get more pressure here. So the first is the, uh, the um, I guess, the most powerful, but small. Oh, this is actually more powerful here. And then both together, large and powerful one, and just the large one and some kind of rain oh this one looks like it hurts and that's it and uh, there's also a switch here oh okay there's an on and off switch here for the small one yeah, there you go on off on off so that's pretty nice so actually you can just set it to the middle and then just turn this off and then when you need it on you can just turn it on here see yeah, so the middle, turning this to the middle is probably going to be ideal. Okay, uh, that's it. So, again, the, uh, the, the functionality of this is, uh, is the fact that it's magnetic. Well, this one cannot actually attach anymore. See, that's a problem. So, when we have this head all the way down, I actually cannot reattach this, so I have to move it up a little bit. And I can attach it. And uh, yeah, so it's still kind of flimsy. There. But I get it safe. And it's still dripping. Even though this is off, it's still dripping. Uh, obviously, I need to tighten uh, something here. I think it's just dripping from here, from the top. So I need to tighten that, that, that first uh, nut. The, uh, the ball. I need to tighten that probably another one full turn, but that shouldn't be a problem. Even after I fix that leak, this is a big concern right here. Uh, as you can see, this is completely shut off according to this switch, but it's still dripping like this. Now, if I switch it to the top, where it should be 100% just a shower head on the top, this should stop dripping. Yep, it does, see? It stopped dripping completely because it's not channeling water through this hose. So that's fine. So obviously, this switch right here is crappy because this doesn't work. Yeah, so if I switch this there, it should immediately start dripping, so it's no good. So you can only use this switch right here. And I'm not sure how long this switch is going to last. The shower head itself have no adjustment, so there's no different settings of uh, air, I mean, uh, not air, uh, water uh, pattern. And um, yeah, that's it. This is the uh, Moen Attracts Magnetics. Um, if you find this video useful, uh, please give it a thumbs up and uh, share it to whoever you think uh, could benefit. Uh, and subscribe to my channel. Um, Oh, by the way, if you want to buy this shower head, I'm going to have the link in the description. And uh, I would appreciate if you use my affiliate link. It helps support uh, creating more videos like this. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself videos like these and support my channel. Thank you.